This YouTube series will cover material that we cover in our Introduction to Astronomy class from a meteorite found in Antarctica from the planet Mars and the search for life, all the way through to supernovas and black holes. Stars spend the great majority of their life, approximately 91% of their life, on the main sequence. They are burning hydrogen into helium in their cores, producing an explosive pressure that is balanced by gravity, hydrostatic equilibrium. That takes place at a temperature of 15.5 million Kelvin. At some point, though, the hydrogen is going to run out. We're going to be left with a core of nothing but helium. Now, given that there is still gravitational pressure, and there's no explosive gas pressure out, the helium core will begin to collapse. And as we know from our basic physics, as the core collapses, the temperature increases. Now, the question, bit, the question is, is there a way to fuse helium? Yes, helium fuses into carbon and oxygen, but it takes 100 million Kelvin to get there. So as the core continues to collapse, reaching higher and higher temperatures, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 million Kelvin, there is a shell of hydrogen which exists beyond the core, which never got to burn in the first place. It was never in the core to burn. And as that shell collapses, it hits a temperature of 15.5 million Kelvin and begins to burn into helium. And the presence of that shell, at the same time the core is collapsing, causes the outer layers of the star to expand a little bit. You've got this small shell here that is pushing on the thin outer layer and causing the star to expand. And when things expand, as we know, they cool. So what happens here is when we look at the star's temperature and brightness, the star begins to get bigger and cooler. Bigger means brighter, cooler means to the right. So the star will move off of the main sequence and begin to move up and to the right. We call this the red giant branch, the RGB. What's going on here is that the star is burning shell hydrogen rather than the core hydrogen that it burns on the main sequence. The core hydrogen is what's going on in the main sequence and that's where the star spends most of its life. But at this point we're starting to burn shell hydrogen. And then, as the core continues to collapse, helium ignites. So the helium core begins to ignite at 100 million Kelvin. Helium begins to burn into carbon and oxygen. Great! But now we're pushing more energy out through these outer layers, so the star gets hotter. So when it got bigger and brighter and cooler, now the star returns to its original temperature, but it no longer is at the same brightness. We call this the horizontal branch for obvious reasons. It's a horizontal line as the star begins to burn not just shell hydrogen, but core helium. And all stars, big and small, move on to this horizontal branch. What happens next? Well, the hydrogen runs out, and the helium runs out, and the core begins to collapse. At that point, a shell of hydrogen, which missed out the first time and the second time, ignites. A shell of helium ignites. A shell of hydrogen begins to burn into helium. A shell of helium begins to burn into carbon and oxygen, and the core of carbon and oxygen begins to look for its opportunity to burn. It turns out that carbon will burn into neon and magnesium at a temperature of 600 million Kelvin. But before it reaches that, these two shells create a situation where the star is now pushing more and more energy through the outer layers, and once again the star expands and cools. So once again the star moves up, because it's brighter, and to the right. Up and to the right. We call this the AGB, the asymptotic giant branch, because this looks like an asymptotic line in mathematics. The asymptotic giant branch is, is uh, powered by a shell of hydrogen and a shell of helium. 
but nothing in the core. So the main sequence is powered by a core of hydrogen, the red giant branch, shell of hydrogen, the horizontal, we get the core involved with helium and the shell of hydrogen, and now we've got this secondary shell of hydrogen and helium on the AGB. We are headed towards disaster. There is not much more the star can do. It has gotten bigger and redder multiple times. It is thousands of times its original size. By the time our star reaches this point, the star is so large that it has enveloped the orbit of Mercury and Venus and Earth. It is close to the end. The problem is, where does it end? Can we burn carbon and oxygen in the core? It turns out for small stars like our Sun, that is a bridge too far. In fact, any star that is less than eight times the mass of the Sun will never burn carbon and oxygen in its core. Stars that are greater than eight solar masses will burn beyond that and end up as supernovas with the potential to be black holes. We'll talk about that next.